Welcome back to the channel, it's Nine, and today we have quite a bit to go over, I mean surprisingly on a Sunday, but we're going to be discussing Ubisoft possibly being up for sale, what could be happening there in relation to Sony, and we're also going to be talking about Hideo Kojima possibly making a PS5 game. Now before we get into that, if you have not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos, and hit the like button, it helps the channel a ton. Now let's talk about this Ubisoft sale happening or possible sale happening. So a private equity firm could be beginning to circle over Ubisoft. Bloomberg reported Friday. Talks are early but include interest from firms like Blackstone Inc. and KKR and Co. Even if it's not private equity, senior current and former Ubisoft developers Kotaku has spoken with in recent months believe the company will eventually sell to someone amid a flagging stock price and ongoing production struggle. Okay, so is a possibility that they are up for sale and there are multiple buyers. And some people are automatically jumping to, well, could this be a possible acquisition for Microsoft or even Sony? And let's start off with Microsoft and why I don't think Microsoft will jump into this. And that's specifically because they are dealing with the whole Activision Blizzard situation. They're already trying to clear that and they are getting a little bit of pushback Although I think ultimately it's going to go through and they are going to purchase uh, Activision Blizzard. I feel like there's going to be no trouble in the end about that. But I do feel like because that is happening right now, they're not going to try this whole Ubisoft situation. Although I feel like it would be a good buy for Microsoft. Now when it comes to Sony and what they could possibly be doing, I don't think Sony is going to be looking at Ubisoft at all. Reason being, they make third person action adventure games for the most part. And guess what? Sony does it a lot better. It's not really filling a gap in Sony's portfolio, which is first person shooters. Yes, I know Rainbow Six could be one of them, but really, do they do they really want Rainbow Six? Like, are they going to buy all of Ubisoft for Rainbow Six? I just don't think that's something that's going to happen. So the biggest reason being that it doesn't fill any gaps in Sony's portfolio. And then I see some people saying, well, well, with Sony's support, Ubisoft could be a lot better. But you got to think about this. Sony's not going to buy a publisher to fix them. They want someone who's already doing well. So they bought Bungie, for example, because Bungie brought something to the table for their live service games. They're not going to buy Ubisoft so they can improve Ubisoft. That doesn't make any sense. They want an advantage to having them, which it's got to go beyond their IP and, and having more studios, right? Because it's taking on a lot. When you take on a whole publisher, there's a lot that you're taking on. You got to have the capital for it and you got to have the right management for it as well. And to be honest, at this price point, they may as well look at a better publisher like Capcom and Square Enix, and those would be substantially more important to Sony than Ubisoft ever could be. But the problem with those is they may not even be for sale, so that could be another barrier as well. But yeah, overall, I just don't see Ubisoft being a uh, candidate for Sony to acquire them. It just it doesn't make sense at all. It, it would surprise me. It would shock me. Mind you, Bungie surprised me. But in the end, Bungie's acquisition makes more sense than what would be Ubisoft's acquisition. So we'll see what happens. I don't think that this is going to be something Sony jumps into. I could see Microsoft, if they can find a way, they would certainly buy Ubisoft. It would benefit them immensely to have a, a great team of studios that does third-person action adventure games uh, pretty well. Like I think Assassin's Creed is quite good. So I feel like that's one series that would do really well for them. But again, I just, yeah, I, I don't see them jumping into this with the whole thing with Activision and Blizzard. But please let me know, what do you think? Are you expecting Microsoft to jump on Ubisoft or Sony or who could it be? Could Tencent, Amazon, who, Google, who could it be? Let me know what you think in the comments. Next up, I wanna to talk to you about Hideo Kojima making a PS5 game. This entire thing stemmed from Kojima tweeting an image in the new office. This image has a PS5 dev kit hooked up, which has given some the idea that they are developing a PS5 game. Of course, this sounds crazy, right? Automatically, people are like, well, come on, man. They developed Death Stranding. Of course, they have a dev kit. Of course, it's hooked up. Of course, they may be looking at making PS5 games into the future, so they're going to have a dev kit. So these are all reasonable things to say. But let's explore this. Let's see what this could mean. If, like the Kojibo we know is, is somebody who does a lot of cryptic messaging, cryptic tweets, does a lot of of stuff like that. So of course the fans are always gonna look at the tweets and and really try to take any information they can from it. And yeah, I don't blame them because this is a, a history that Kojima has. So what could this all possibly mean? Well, number one, Kojima is actively making a PS5 game. That's a possibility. It is, it's a possibility. That's something that could be happening. 
Or on the opposite hand, this could just be a previous dev kit from Death Stranding, which is more than likely the case, but it doesn't mean he couldn't be using it for a new PS5 game. Now you gotta remember, Kojima is rumored to be making an Xbox game, which is why everybody's kind of like, whoa, what is this, right? Like, cause if he's working on an Xbox game, where's the Xbox dev kit? Why are we seeing a PS5 dev kit? These are all questions that arise, right? These are all normal questions that would arise. Kojima is also rumored to be working on multiple titles, so it could be that he's working on a PS5 game and he's working on an Xbox game. Those are two things that could be happening and we can't deny those things. But ultimately, this could be nothing. But again, due to Kojima's cryptic nature, people are making more of this than usual. And I don't blame them because this is a history that he has. Personally speaking, I don't think this image was meant to... Uh, spark anything. I really don't. I think it just happened to be a PS5 dev kit that was hooked up in the image because you really have to zoom in to get it. It's not like he has it fr front and center, right? But again, because of his history and what he's known for, people are automatically thinking, well, this must mean something, right? So reasonably so, I'm not going to deny those people that because, well, he's done this in the past before where he has things in tweets and images and in text and people uh, look into it later on in the future and find out, oh my God, he was teasing this or he was teasing that. So it's reasonable for people to make these kind of assumptions. I mean, reasonably so. If this is somebody who's done it in the past, what are the chances he's not doing it right now? But I'd love to hear from you. What do you think Kojima could be hinting towards? Is it a PS5 game that he's working on? Or was it just a normal image with a PS5 dev kit hooked up because, well, he's worked on a PS5 game before and will probably work on PS5 games in the future? And also let me know what you think of this whole Ubisoft going up for sale situation. Do you think that Microsoft or Sony would be interested? Or do you think another party would be interested like Amazon or a Google? Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you have not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos and hit the like button. It helps the channel a ton. You can follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Links will be in the description and share this video with a friend. I will talk to you all on the next one. Take care.